the growing developer. The pattern that we'll be discussing today is the model view controller, the MVC design pattern. So let's understand what this mean, uh, what these name means. So we have the model. The model is just the representation of the data, mostly in the forms of classes. Okay, so we'll discuss deep into it in the later part of the video. Then we have the view, as the name suggests, it is the UI. So suppose you have the product description page, so that becomes up your UI, and all the data that you have becomes the model. Okay then we have the controller or service slash service so there are chances where we use this controller word and then we can also use the service word so this is responsible for moving the data to and from the server and the ui okay so when you are getting or when you are fetching the data from the server all those logic even passing the data to the server or getting to the server will be written in the separate service class or the controller class whatever you uh, like have uh, whatever you are comfortable with so uh so to understand this a bit diagrammatically let's see so inside the service class all the logic all the basic logic where we are fetching the data or we are making the api call to the server is written in the service class which will take up the data which is in the format of json and convert it into models so models are just a class representation of the data where we have different variables and from that model we just rendered that model exactly that model into our ui as you can see that we have rendered the names the titles of the facts okay so let's quickly jump into the folder structure that we'll have for our application and if i zoom in to this folder structure you can see that i have the models the services and views these uh, three folders namely so let's first see what api we'll be calling and what are that what is the different set of data that we'll be having for our application so if we go to directly to the growing developer.org website as you already know if you follow my earlier tutorial i have a tutorial on making http requests so in the samples sample api section i have the sample api with json response and this will be the response that we'll get from this url so let's just copy this url and we will try to consume this api right so in the services section as we already discussed that the services section will be responsible for making the http request to the server so let's create a new file a new dot file and i'll name it as facts service okay because we'll be fetching the facts from the growing developer okay so let's quickly create our service classes service classes are nothing special a normal class it will be class fact service and inside that i'll create a method which will be get facts so http requests are synchronous in nature so let's add the async keyword into this okay makes sense next to make the http request we need the http package installed i've already installed the http package you can always search for http on pub.dev and let's quickly import the package import http package as http and then in the get fact section we will create a response variable and then after that we can simply say response equals to await http dot get and then this get will take up the uri dot parse and then as a string we can pass the variable the url itself okay so it will it will perform the get operation on this url and give me the result that we require okay so this is the complete http response that we'll be getting next thing we can simply return json dot decode after decoding it is very important to decode the response so it will be response dot body and then for the decode to work we need to import the convert library from the dart import convert okay so that's it now that's the first mistake that we all beginners do that is we are returning the json format the map format okay uh, so as you can see that this image url is it is in the snake format that is image then url uh, image underscore and then url okay so most of the dart developers use the lower camel case so yeah like there might be many cases where we can get this name wrong and we can't get the variables right okay 
so that is the first mistake we should never ever return a map that is the basic uh, that is the first error that we developer make we should never ever return a map we should always return a model okay so a new word comes into the picture that is model so how do we create models or what are models so i'll not go that much deep into the models so a basic overview would be a model is a basic structure that represents the actual data data that we are having from the api so as you can see that if you can consider this complete uh, response as a class so the class can have some variables like id category and then a list of facts okay to know more about models and how to create models and how do the models actually work i have a written guide for you a beginner's guide where you can learn how do we create the models actually okay so i have written all the steps that are needed and i and I have tried my best to explain you how each and every line is gonna work okay so do give it a look it's for you guys only well so for this tutorial i'll be using a tool which is known as json to dart you can definitely search on google and the first link json to dart you can very simply uh, copy this response from here copy whatever response you're getting from the api and paste it then write the class name so it will be api response or let me say facts response let's generate the dart and it will automatically create the class for you how are these methods working and what are the functionality of this you can always read my uh, blog for that okay so we'll move on to our models section and create a new file i'll name it as fact response and just paste the code that we copied okay makes sense right so now we have the model ready. How do we uh, use this model actually? Okay, let's see. So in this model, we have this fact response dot from JSON. So what it will do, it will take the JSON and convert in, into the facts response. So, so let's just create a model. We'll name it as facts response. It will automatically import the facts response model. I'll name it as facts, resp uh, facts response only. And this would be facts response dot from JSON and we can pass the JSON data that is this. So I'll copy this, paste it here and that's it. It is good to go. Okay, then I can very easily respond, uh, then I can very easily return the fact response data. Okay, that's it. Now our API uh, request looks good. We are able to get the data and we are parsing the data into the model. So now if any of the other developer works into your application, so he or she and you also would know what kind of response you are getting. So you are getting the fact response and then you can definitely consider looking into this model and know what variables are there. Okay, so let's just give it a return type as well. So the return type would be future and then the facts response make sense so now your method is complete you have the method name which is which will say get facts so the method name should be very much meaningful and it uh, i definitely know uh, that this method will return me the facts so with the return type i can see what exactly is the type of data that is getting uh, returned okay now that is one thing now is the error handling while having the request there are multiple status code that we can have that is 200 404 400 500 okay so there are many requests that we can handle so we should always look for the successful response that is if response sorry response dot status code equal equal 200 if the response code is 200 then only return this fact response okay so let's just cut this and paste it here else if the response is not 200 that means the request was not successful and there was some error so you can return null okay a perfect approach would be to throw a new exception so we'll move into the exception later on uh, in the later part of this channel videos in a future time Okay, so the service classes are complete. 
we are able to make the request and we'll be returning the fact response model okay so next thing is to include this method call into our main ui so let's go to our main dot dot file and uh, into this container okay I definitely use the future builder because it will give you more handling of the errors so let's use the future builder future builder okay right so future builder will take up the future and will take up the builder builder in turn will have the context and then we have the snapshot right so we'll look into it no worries so future the future is inside this fact service class inside this fact service we have a method which is known as get facts so let's quickly make a uh, object of this fact service so fact service fact service equals to facts service right makes sense we have created the model uh, the instance sorry and then after that we can simply use fact service dot get facts now this get facts will return a future of facts response okay makes sense now inside this builder property we can check if snapshot dot has data if the snapshot is having data then only we should return something okay let me just write text here that's it otherwise if the snapshot is not having data we can simply say return uh, maybe circular progress indicator right now sorry not this right so if the snapshot is not having data till that time we can definitely use the circular progress indicator well the future builder is itself a vast topic we can discuss it separately so right now we can we will only check if the snapshot is having data or if it is not having data or if it is waiting there are other states as well so we'll talk about it later okay so what is the type of data that we are getting from the snapshot you guessed it right the type of the data is fact response okay so let's create another model uh, instance here sorry for the mistakes here so i'll create an instance fact response so a new instance facts response i need not to initialize it i can definitely use snapshot dot data okay let's import it right so whatever data we had the data is of type fact response based on this fact response uh, let's let's do one thing first i will just print this facts response dot let's just print the category okay let's save this and see what happens so you can see the circular progress indicator and after that we have the category being printed let me just increase the size so that it becomes more visible to us size 32 okay so you can see that we have the category here facts by the growing developer let's just confirm so from our api response we have this facts by the growing developer feed developer saying that makes sense now how to use the facts so for that we can use a list view builder list view dot builder and inside that item builder will take up the context and then the index that's it i'll just return a list style with the title as text something okay let's see let i'll discuss what we need to show here and then we have the item count as well so item count would be fact response dot facts dot length okay makes sense then after that inside this text folder in the inside this text widget we can have facts response dot facts then the index 
and then from that index we can have something like title right makes sense let's save this okay some errors where is that okay so that's it let's save this and you can see that we have the list of facts here all the titles so this was all about how we we should make http request and how the corporates want you to make http request to make your learning further i have the growing developer api directly go to api.thegrowingdeveloper.org and if you open up the documentation i have over 20 routes where you can get access to uh, many products basically 10,000 plus products here and with the users cards and wish list at a minimal price of a pizza that is just seven dollars which is roughly 500 inr rupees and you can get it all with you so yeah thank you so much for watching this video hope you like this video hope you're able to learn something from this video and any errors any suggestions and any of your queries you can definitely write out in the comments and also you can contact me through any of the social platforms i'll be more than happy to help you out so thank you so much hope you like this video goodbye have a nice day